Hey Jaime, are you on steroids? Why the F are you in a hurry to finish your videos? I have a life, dude. Jaime, let's put this out in the open. Your jokes are so terrible, they somehow managed to make me laugh. I'm happy, I'm running out of ideas. If only world leaders were drunk as Jaime, everything would have been perfect, and I have to agree with you. They need to learn from that. That's right, it's that time of the week. I am Jaime Rivera, this is Pocket Now, and this is the Pocket Now Daily Recap for last week. Monday was about Android 6.0 Marshmallow. I asked you, what did you think about the name as Google had just made it official? We had 872 comments we start with. I'm going to cook some marshmallow over my new Snapdragon 810 Fire Pit tonight. Anyone want some S'mores? And uh, yeah, I do think that that would probably be an issue, but I can't wait for people to start testing it. Probably the 810 issues get fixed. Uh, or no, I don't think they will, but hey, who knows. So far, honeycomb, gingerbread, jelly bean, Kit Kat, lollipop, now marshmallow. Who is coming up with these names? What's next? Pretzel and uh, yeah, I never really understood what's the point. Why not just call it Android M, but I guess Google has a purpose for that. So all these people will get excited for Android M, but about 5% will only receive the update. Uh, yeah, I have to agree with you. That is the saddest part about Android, that not very many people will give it a try. Tuesday was about iPhone. There are rumors of a 5-inch iPhone that will probably launch along with 6S and 6S Plus, but this device will be probably sort of a mid-ranger. I asked you which one would you pick out of all of these. We have 612 comments we start with. Rocking the 5S 4-inch and not planning on getting another phone until this one breaks. And yes, the 5S has turned out to be such a good phone that a lot of people have not upgraded, and I don't blame them. If uh, the features are not really going to be boosted with these changes, then why change your phone? I wish smartphones should stay at a normal size, which is 4.7 inch screen, but also to be made with a faster processor and longer battery life. Seriously, it nearly fits in our pockets, and uh, dude, you have an amazing point here, particularly with the way the industry is behaving. We have super thin phones, but it's pointless if we don't get the features that we really care about. So that would be amazing indeed. Five inches is a great display size. It's big enough without feeling like you're holding a license plate. And I do have to agree with you. For me, that's like the sweet spot. Five inches, obviously, depending on what you're getting, depending on the thickness of the phone. So let's see if Apple does pull this uh, five inch mid-ranger, even though we haven't heard any more leaks about this. Wednesday, I asked you how important is smartphone durability to you? We saw a full test of the probable iPhone 6S chassis and its durability when compared to the iPhone 6, and the results were staggering. It was almost three times superior. We have 588 comments we start with. Doesn't matter if when you drop the phone, the screen looks like, well, you dropped the phone. And yes, I have to agree with you. What's the point of us going through the 7000 series aluminum if in the end the display will still shatter? I think you make an amazing point here. Sapphire cannot come soon enough to smartphones as a mainstream, obviously. Extra durability would not make me buy an iPhone 6S. If I really want a tough phone, I'll get the Samsung S6 Active. Yeah, tough phone and ugly is not really a good combination, and that's really sad. I miss the old actives from Samsung. It doesn't matter. I just hope it doesn't increase the price, and I don't think it will increase the price. We've been dealing with these price tags for the iPhone ever since the iPhone 3G, uh, which is a long time ago. So I feel that the price points will remain the same, but if the storage options do remain the same, then we understand what Apple is doing here, uh, which is terrible. Thursday, we discussed rumors of a Galaxy Note 5 Active that could probably be announced soon, and I asked you if you'd be willing to wait for it, particularly because of the larger battery and waterproof design, or are you okay with the Note 5 right now? We have 696 comments we start with. Massive 4100 milliamp hour battery in a Note which is water resistant. What else a redictated Android lover could ask for? Well, you could ask for it to come with the regular Note and not have to wait for an active variant that'll probably be ugly, at least the battery. Again, Samsung, you did it with the S6, just give us more battery. Why make us choose? Fix the battery size on your phones and you will have the perfect phone award. And uh, yeah, I agree with this. I hate the fact that we have to choose for an active phone that people don't really want. I mean, why is it that we can't get that same battery power on the current and high-end model? It's not like if it's cheap. Samsung does the same mistake Apple did in the early 90s. A hundred different products, and yes, I do agree with you. Samsung said that they were gonna tone down things they haven't done so, and even though this has worked out for them well this year, I don't think it's gonna last again. 
Finally, Friday, the topic of discussion was the Apple Watch and the complaints from users of the watch being damaged, particularly the Apple Watch Sport. And I asked you, what do you think that Apple should do with this? We have 366 comments we start with. Apple Watch is too expensive and fancy for nothing. Yes, I can afford it, but Tim Cook don't deserve my money. And I do agree with you. I mean, the Apple Watch Sport in particular is not cheap for what you're getting. So, hey, it should be better, at least better designed than materials. Apple never had a reputation for durable products. Since the iPhone 4 and aluminum MacBooks, their products have gotten too delicate. And I'm sure the rest of the world, or at least a good amount of people, don't agree with that. Actually, it's the other way around. It's because of these premium materials that a lot of people prefer Apple products, but those premium materials are not necessarily durable, and that's what Apple is working on. What happens when you rush out to buy a first-generation product to just be like everyone else? You deal with the problems just like everyone else, and yes, I do agree with you. It's the problem of the early adopter, and it's happened with every single Apple product. They are very conservative with the first one, then they fix it, and even though I hate that, it just makes you want to wait for the Apple Watch 2 and hopefully be surprised. That's it for the Pocket Owl Daily Recap. Thank you very much for watching. A couple of tips if you want your comments to be featured. Number one, keep them short. Number two, stick to the point. Number three, try to get some thumbs up. It helps us spot them a lot easier. You can also follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next week.